Today let us make a very simple DC motor with household materials. You would need a battery, safety pins, insulated copper wire, magnets, an old bicycle tube, scissors and a cutter. Take a 1.5 meter of insulated copper wire and wind it around the battery. Take about 10 turns and then remove the coil like a spring. Take one end and tie a knot and stretch it out. Do the same thing for the other end. For an equal distribution of the weight, both the knots should be diametrically opposite. With the scissors, trim both these ends so that they are just 3 cm long. Now take a knife and scrape off the insulation on three sides from one end such that one side is still insulated. On the other diametrically opposite side, scrape the insulation entirely. The coil is ready now. Next, take an old bicycle tube and use it to make two broad rubber bands. Now stretch and fix these rubber bands on the battery and tuck in the magnet and the safety pins. The motor is now ready. If you now place the coil between two lids of the assembly, the motor starts. An electric DC motor is a device that converts electric energy into mechanical energy. When the coil is connected to the battery, current passes through it, which eventually turns it into an electromagnet. This electromagnet has its own south and north pole. The permanent magnet placed in the vicinity of the electromagnet gives it an attractive or repulsive kick depending on the polarity of both the magnets and the coil rotates. As you might remember, we have purposely left a layer of insulation on one of the sides of the two leads. This precisely contributes to switching the current on and off for every rotation. The speed of this motor mainly depends on three important factors. The current passing through the coil, number of turns in the coil, and the strength of the magnet.